to represent us. But he's supporting the men who got money from the real estate corporations. And we're all going to get kicked out of our homes. He doesn't want to let me talk to the men who stand against me. Why won't you get in touch with Mark Levine and tell him that we should debate? We can meet right here. I want to have a public conversation with him. The community deserves answers. Senator Espiat, call Mark Levine. Senator Espiat, call Mark Levine. Senator Espiat, call Mark Levine. Senator Espiat, call. <laughs> Come on, Senator. The young men of my community deserve to know what's going on. This is our senator. He Mark Levine any said that he's against stop and frisk, but he never came out to march with me. I've been arrested 11 times in the past two years fighting stop and frisk, and he never March. And when I called my city council person, they didn't answer. When I called my public advocate, they didn't answer. How I called your office, no one responded. What happened? Where's Mark Levine? He says that he cares about the community, but he won't even answer a woman who's running for city council. He said he supports the rich white man that's running against me. He doesn't support a young woman from the community. What's up, Senator? I'm born and raised in New York City. I went to public school all my life. I grew up poor with a single mother. I know what the people of this community need. Mark Levine grew up in Maryland with two doctor parents. He went to private school. He's not a teacher, he's a banker. The bank that he opened up in our neighborhood is run by Goldman Sachs executives now. He doesn't care about the community. That's why the real estate corporations are backing him. And you endorse this man? You endorse him. You think that that's a good, a good idea for the community? Come on, brother. I want to let you get to where you got to go. I don't want to hold you up. But Mark Levine is in hiding and he needs to come out. Sorry? I'm not hurting the tenants. I care for the tenants. I know you're going to go there and tell them a bunch of lies. Hey, brother. What's going on with you? Oh, I'm just trying to figure out um, what's happening here. This guy's calling lies and he doesn't want to talk to me. Yeah, yeah, call the police, man. You're good at that. Call the cops. That's great. Senator Espaillat, are you going to call the cops on a young woman who's running for city council in this district? Senator's going to call the cops. The senator won't stop and frisk. He won't stop and frisk. Senator Espaillat, I want to move out of your way and let you go where you're going. But I need to talk to my opponent, and you know where he is. No, that guy's the manager of 3333 is a cop. No, but he doesn't want to talk to me and he supports Mark Levine. Mark Levine wants to be the city council person for this district, but Mark Levine got over $400,000 from the real estate corporations. There's no way that Mark Levine cares about the people of this community if the real estate corporations gave him hundreds of thousands of dollars. He's not from this city. He didn't grow up here. He's not a teacher like he claims to be. The bank that he opened up is now run by Goldman Sachs executives. They are all about the money. And this man right here supports that guy, not a young woman from the community. I'm running for city council here, and Mark Levine doesn't want to debate me. And I know that this man knows how to get in touch with him because he supports Mark Levine. And I want to know, how do I get in touch with him? Can you call him right now? Can you tell him that we're going to have a debate right here tomorrow, 5 p.m., when everybody's coming home from work? The community demands to have answers. We want to know. Why is he getting
getting money from the real estate corporations when the real estate corporations want to kick us out. That doesn't make any sense. He's not from here. He's got a colonizer mentality. He's a white man from outside of New York who thinks that he's going to come here and tell poor people how to live. They don't want us in New York. The same way that Mark Levine got money from the real estate corporations, so did Inez Dickens and Richie Torres and Lori Kumbo and all these other council people. They are liars and they want to kick us out. I'm 27 years old. I was born and raised in New York City. I want to represent the people in my district because when I was trying to fight, stop, and frisk, and I got arrested, I reached out to my council person, who was Robert Jackson, and he didn't respond to numerous requests. And I reached out to my public advocate, who was Bill de Blasio, who's now gonna be the mayor, and they didn't respond. I even reached out to the senator's office, I got no responses. And I don't think it's fair that these people claim to represent us, and they don't. And they don't. And they don't. And I just say, like, they really don't. I want to make a mark. Somebody is standing up to them. Keep speaking out. Somebody is standing up to them now, and they don't want to respond. And here's an example right here, and they laughing at us, you see, and they think it's funny. And they're going to call the cops And they're going to call the cops. Okay. Okay. Sister, take some of these. You know anybody who wants to pass them out. Hey, sis, I support you. Oh, that's so true. Thank you. I don't know. We don't. 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 I don't feel like I'm all by myself. I feel alone. Who is this? This is Senator Espaillat. Senator Espaillat. I'm going to call and I'm going to...